Welcome back, guys. Uh, today, I, t I thought I'd take a look at Lubuntu. Now, this is the Lubuntu 16.04. This is the latest release. Um, I themed it, as you can see in the bottom left, the um, uh, icon for the menu. Uh, I've changed it to a an Ubuntu icon. Um, basically, in order to do that, all you need to do is open your browser do a search for Ubuntu icon um, and with a transparent background when you click that it will if you let's say click on images and as you can see you should get some decent uh, icons and all you do is pick the one that you want as you can see it's got the checkerboard background so that indicates that none of that will show uh, once you paste the icon uh, it, that is a transparent background so if we view the image and then right click it save image as save it wherever you'd like and then once that is saved then you will right click the menu icon go to menu settings it'll have the current icon so click on browse go to the folder where you saved it and as you can see it changed to the new one that I just downloaded so I'm gonna leave that alone uh, the theming that I have if you go into the menu and click on system tools uh, actually preferences go to customize look and feel it'll bring up your configuration uh, your appearance uh, manager and then you can select the theme that you like. Now I installed Nimbus Light and Dark. I installed uh, Numix. I think those are the only two that I installed. I have Bluebird and Graybird. So um, I have the ones that I normally use. Right now I'm running Nimbus and for color color is not supported by the type of configuration or type of theme that I have so that's not changeable at all uh, for the icons I'm running Nimbus as you can see the mouse cursor window border I'm running nightmare 02 uh, it's the black and blue uh, and out of the ones that I have see they use open box themes so um, I'm not able to use the Nimbus it doesn't follow over to the windows so I'm forced to use the ones that I have available and that's the one that I picked for font um, you can pick your Alias, uh, enable anti-aliasing but you can also enable hinting I usually use slight hinting uh, that's usually enough and the rest of it the other configuration options I usually uh, I usually leave alone so we'll close that out now as you can see I've installed everything that I normally install I have synapse Redshift, P sensor, clip it, and caffeine. Now, a little interesting side note with caffeine. If you download caffeine and you click on it in your accessories folder, it will not function and it will not show up here in your system tray. The, the only way that I have found to get it to actually work properly and show up in your system tray is to and this applies to Lubuntu and uh, Zubuntu 
it, you'd have to go to your um, startup programs. Now in Zubuntu, it's in your main configuration mem mem uh, menu as system and startup, I think. But in Lubuntu, it's over here in, uh, let's see, it's in Preferences, Default Applications. So if you go to Preferences, then Default Applications, then to Auto Start, you will see the, the uh, programs that you currently have configured to Auto Start. Now, if you click on Caffeine, it will set up an auto stop for you but it won't be correct and let's see as you can see the caffeine that comes with or when you click on caffeine in your in your uh, accessories when you click on it it generates this auto start but this auto start does not work so what you need to do is uncheck that and then add a new one okay and what you're gonna do I'm gonna remove that so what you're gonna do is in the add section you're gonna type caffeine indicator and you're gonna save that that's the that will force the icon to populate into your system tray and give you that activate and deactivate option so uh, that's the that's the best way to to actually get caffeine to work properly in Ubuntu. Now, as you can see, I've already installed Compton, um, and I put a startup. My 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 Compton command is just Compton. I have a uh, in my home folder under dot config I have a Compton configuration file and that's what controls the Compton configuration that eliminates screen tearing and a lot of other issues so that was just a little bit off topic um, showing you how to configure caffeine everything else uh, is working fine now I did uh, enable my Broadcom and NVIDIA in the additional drivers uh, option so you see up in uh, additional drivers so I enabled <coughs> Broadcom and NVIDIA and I also enabled the Intel microcode firmware so those fine no problems at all getting much easier to configure NVIDIA and Broadcom as Ubuntu, uh, as uh, Linux itself uh, becomes more populated with the uh, the uh, third-party proprietary drivers. So, uh, as you can see, Ubuntu now uh, out of all of the Ubuntu flavors, I uh, actually prefer. Um, I think Ubuntu is probably my favorite and then it's Zubuntu with XFCE which I did a review on yesterday and then um, Ubuntu Mate I like a lot also um, has some configuration especially with the Marco options uh, Marco and and uh, and Compton for uh, compositing and uh, window management I like those options uh, but XFCE, Zubuntu, and uh, LXDE, Lubuntu, they uh, both have configuration options that are similar, and uh, especially Lubuntu um, has a much smaller footprint and runs great on pretty much any kind of hardware, old or new. As you can see, I added the terminal icon to my desktop. Uh, I did compile OBS Studio. The OBS Studio, the, the PPA that's available, does not work for 1604, so I compiled OBS Studio, and that is working fine. That's how I'm making this video. So uh, I think that's all I wanted to cover on this Lubuntu release. It is very, very nice. I haven't had any issues whatsoever with any of the uh, 
programs that I've installed. You can see in sound and video I have installed Banshee, uh, GUVC View, Kazam, Kodi, OBS, OpenShot, SM Player. I've got Wine installed for games. I've got Play on Linux and Steam. And uh, for I, I, Firefox comes with it out of the box. I have installed Google. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, for accessories, I've installed Caffeine. I installed Cherry Tree, Clip It, Leaf Pad, Redshift, Synapse. So everything that I normally run, I'm running here in Lubuntu, and it's rock solid. So uh, two thumbs up. Uh, some someone mentioned some potential security issues with Canonical um, getting involved with Microsoft. I don't think there's uh, too much cause for concern on that at this point, but I do think Canonical needs to address the issue and uh, just put everybody's mind at ease. Um, but all of the flavors that everybody was waiting for are out. Now, as I said, I also downloaded uh, Ubuntu Studio, which I've installed on my um, secondary computer that I use uh, for music recording, uh, and I do make videos on that. I have a lot of multimedia set up on that. So uh, I'll be doing a review on that within a few days. So guys, thank you very much for stopping by the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.